Hi, I'm Bonnie Ross. I'm the head of 343 Industries. So we're here at Gamescom. Let's start by talking about the Halo channel and what that is all about. You know, it's, it's basically, think of it as the home of all things um, Halo. It's an interactive digital network where everything you want to watch and do is connected. So you want to watch Halo Nightfall, you want to hear more about the universe, we have the encyclopedia in there, or most importantly, you want to play and watch games. Uh, you know, with the Twitch partnership, you can watch whatever you want. You can watch the pros, you can watch your friends, and then you can jump into a game whenever you want right from the channel. It looks like there's also going to be some original content. I noticed Bulletin and Sprint in the demo. Yeah, if you think about Waypoint, what we're doing, think about our weekly Wednesday um, Bulletin, think about that coming to life. And you're going to see Bravo and the team basically kind of giving our Halo updates as Bulletins going forward. Um, and then also, we're also doing whatever original programming um, that we can find from our Halo fans and, and everyone else. Can you talk a little about the interactive element and how that channel will connect friends together? Um, from interactive, you mean interactive like the interactive TV part? or So interactive TV, think about if you're watching Halo Nightfall, you're going to unlock secondary stories, you're going to also unlock, say, armor for Halo 5 Guardians or other things. So it is an ability, we reward you for watching um, with both, if you're a diehard fan that wants more content, you get more content. If you want something that goes back into the game, we give you that as well. And it also connects directly to multiplayer for people that want to jump in and do that? Yeah, well basically, so um, but you can jump into any game. So any game that's on Xbox One. So right now that would be Master Chief Collection, but any game, the Halo, is basically your portal right into that. You never have to leave the channel. I mean, you do technically leave the channel, but it's all accessible from the channel. And then when the beta launches, how will that connect to the channel? Uh, same way. So you, from the game, you can get to the channel. From the channel, you can get to the game. And I think most importantly, we're trying to provide an environment where we can get feedback from the fans. So the beta is our opportunity to hear from our fans what they want, and the channel gives us that vehicle to have that conversation. Can you talk about a little bit about the beta and what you guys are focusing on when it comes to four versus four? <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, we're not talking that much about the beta right now. Um, so it is something we're pretty excited about. On we are um, just focusing on a small part of our multiplayer offering, and we'll have more to talk about in October. And I'm sorry about that. Well, but during the the press conference, you mentioned you guys are focusing on four versus four gameplay. Yes, we're definitely focusing more on the arena gameplay, um, and we will have um, three different modes, seven different maps. When it comes to Gamescom, talk a little about uh, what else is new when it comes to the Halo franchise. What else is new? We announced a lot of new stuff today, so the channel, obviously. Um, we've got Sanctuary out. We've got four maps for the first time you can play Sanctuary and Ascension on the show floor. And personally for me, Sanctuary looks amazing. So that's all greatness. You guys also have a new, yeah, announced a new console, right, with the, the Xbox Halo console? No, that was something we gave away at Comic-Con. So we had a couple special fans that got those under the seat, and it's super cool. I didn't even get one. Um, so I think there were four that we put out, and that's, that's it. So I'm just trying to get those other two, and you guys can try and get it for me too. When it comes to Comic-Con, you guys did talk a little more about Nightfall. Can you kind of fill us in on what the latest is when it comes to that? Yeah, we introduced um, a bunch of our new actors that Agent Locke um, plays in both the Nightfall and the game, which is exciting. His voice over is in both, and he's a playable character in Halo 5. So um, we didn't give a lot away about Locke, but it is sort of his origin story or sort of how he came to be and how he'll end up in Halo 5. When it comes to the 10th anniversary of Halo 2, can you talk a little about what you guys have been able to do with the Xbox One over that span of time that people will be able to experience when they play this game? When you think about everything, and for us, it's being able to bring the whole Master Chief Collection together, which we could have never done that on 360. And we think about Halo 2, everything like it's dedicated servers, um, it's 60 frames per second, it's 1080p, so hopefully um, all that for Xbox One. You guys also were talking a little about how you guys are doing the ranking and stuff. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I'll have Dan go into a little bit more on what we're saying. So we are looking at having a unified ranking over everything. Um, fans gave us feedback. They want Halo 2 as that ranking. So we are using the Halo 2 ranking system over the entire Master Chief collection.